A middleweight, uh, the beast of <laughs> middleweight bout, and I'm joined on my left by, well, on my left and my right, I'm the man in the middle at the moment by two more of the new generation, which we call coming out of Black Flash Promotions. We're joined by, tell us your name, Niall McIntosh, and Lewis Wood. Lewis Wood, you can look, they look very, very shy in here, you know what I mean, but they're commentating. But in that ring, believe me, they're not shy at all. So. Tell me then, Niall, tell me about him, what do you know about him? So I know about Niall, he's got a really good jab, he's, he's like really relaxed, really smart with his, you know like, the punches that he's throwing, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously you both know that he's come from a Muay Thai background, he was trained by uh, Grandmaster Sken, who's well well known, not only obviously within Manchester, but worldwide, uh, and actually he recommended uh, Black Fash, uh, boxing Pat Barrett to actually take him on uh, to perfect his boxing technique uh, both trainers Pat and Master Skin have the both same mindset in, in terms of perfection Liam what would you say reference Pat Lewis 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 hold on look at Lewis see what I mean see what he gave, he gave him that boxer look then didn't he? he gave him that boxer look it was like Lewis mate Lewis Lewis talk to me yeah um, yeah you know he's really good Niall he's Considering he's come from a Thai boxing background, he won't think it, you know, he looks like a quite a seasoned boxer, you know, he does all the basics well and yeah, he's good. I mean, obviously when you first saw him in the gym, like you say, you're thinking Muay Thai boxing must be very difficult for him, I think, in his mindset, yeah. not to lift his foot up and give yeah, someone, a, someone a kick, you know what I mean? But like you say, he seems to be, you know, quite slick, you're working behind the jab, yeah, someone you think is going to go far? He's got a lovely jab, he's got good feints, good movement, he's quite a clever fighter as well. Brilliant. So we'll see what we'll see what goes on here, lads. Feel free to jump in. Don't be scared. You're all right. <laughs> to box now, you won't be able to tell his tie boxer, would you? This is this is what when you look at him, you know what I mean. In terms of like, let's say master scan, and um, brought him over to part to perfect that technique of boxing. You know, and it is very very straight, isn't it? Sometimes you think the new tie guys they are a bit wild, and they're probably the power behind the jab isn't really is effective, but you can tell. He's obviously learned a lot and putting a few, like I say, trying to put some combinations together there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see that body shot whipped in there, that was lovely. Left up to the body, back on the jab now. See, this is Lewis, you see. You, you can do this job, mate. He's, like, he's dead easy, he can do this job. He should have come up here on his own. Come on, Nile. He's improved, improved a lot since like when he first started. Like, See, like always at the end of the session, he'd, he'd be on the bags working on his own thing, you know what I mean? What he's been working on is really good. So, so, so after you guys have finished your session, he'd probably stay behind yeah, and do yeah, a little bit more, he'd, yeah? He'd be on the bags working on what we've been working on still. That's a great mindset, that. That's a great mindset. That's it to perfect it. And like you say, some, some great shots are already going in there. A 
good opponent as well tonight, you know, someone who's coming to throw back and press forward. That's not bad, see? It's Lewis, he loves it, and then Lewis is top running better than me. So you what? Listen, you see, when you're not fighting now, and you're resting, you know what I mean? You can just come and do some commentary, it's dead simple, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'll put the word in my pot, mate, you'll be right. So what do you reckon, evens or nailed slightly? Yeah, nailed, definitely. Knock out. Very, very slick, isn't he? Very, very slick in the way he puts things together, and like you say, his, his, his body work. As we can see there from his shots from camera, we're looking at him. Eyes are forever on the boxer there, look, he's thrown out his job there, looking for that opening. Four, four, four rounds today, you know what I mean? Like, his first fight, I think it was the first or second round. Like, it's quite a it's good for him to go the 4-4 rounds, isn't it? So Absolutely, yeah. get those rounds under your belt, yeah, learn from a bit more experience there. And we just said, obviously, the previous fight with, with Joe Morgan, he was the same, he was slightly bit frustrated, and we wanted to put the guy away, but these journeymen are tough kids, aren't they? they know what they know the score. So, Lewis, Tell us then, tell the people who are watching your way. What's your next fight coming up? Um, so I should have been boxing tonight on this, but due to problems like with my opponent and stuff, uh, I've had to reschedule for in three weeks in Liverpool. So I'm pretty sure it's the 29th of October up to now. Yeah, that's right, yes, yeah. We've had it so confirmed the 29th of October, so yeah, we'll definitely look forward to doing a better spot of commentary, yeah, commentating on you in the ring. And then after you, when you've knocked the kid out, we'll bring you back up here. <laughs> and yourself now? So I, I've not got a date yet. I've, I'm still waiting on like medical, on my medical and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so hopefully next, next week I'll find out. We're ready to go. And what's your weight? Middle weight. Middle, middle weight, brilliant. Throwing some nice shots in there. Yeah, I'd just like to see him dig to the body a little bit more. You know, he's boxing lovely behind his jab, but I'd just like to see him go downstairs a little bit. Just set him up for the, set him up for a body shot. I'm laughing there, you can't see him, but he's loving it, Louis. Here. He's just <laughs> loving it. Is that, I mean, it's gonna be his next job that you know, it's just we gonna <laughs> What's that? So it's going to be your next job doing all this. You're natural, mate. Natural. <laughs> I mean, if I'm brutally honest, he's probably one of the fittest journeymen that I've seen. <laughs> With all due respect to the journeyman. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he, he looks like quite a good opponent, really. Like a good game opponent is coming forward and firing shots back so it should be a good learning fight for now. Absolutely brilliant. As you can see the vastly experienced Pat there is having a word with him obviously telling him the situation, you know what I mean, what shots to throw, taking his time. How do you find Pat as a trainer? Oh yeah, he's very, very like strict, like say like he'd be working on to throw a jab. See every every little bit that's wrong in it, he'd see it and then he'd like work around it. He makes you perfect. So he analyzes everything. Yeah, the great, he's a great motivator, isn't he? He's a great motivator, a great tactician. Obviously, using experience that he's gone through 
and obviously wants to put that onto you young, as we call it, the next generation coming out of Black Flag Promotions. I think he might have heard you there, mate. He's done a few body shots. Yeah. He? <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's come out through a few body shots. <laughs> guy, he's got quite a high guard, so I think you should tap him upstairs with a straight shot and look to go to the body. Brilliant. Just open him up a little bit. And it is about that strategy, isn't it? It's that strategy setting him up for your next shot. You've got to be two, two punches in front of him, three punches in front of him. Hard guy to get out of there. To be honest, this this guy was quite a durable um, opponent. Yeah, like we were saying before in the uh, in the first one with, with Joe, we could tell there was a little bit of frustration with him. He was throwing some good heavy shots, yeah. but it was a case of like he wanted him to to put him out there. But you know, like I say, sometimes they need to stay here, don't they? Yeah, this is a bit, this is a this is a good round for for now, without a doubt. Very good learning experience. Yeah, definitely. I think um, I think he's boxing lovely, to be honest. What do you think about his opponent? Yeah, he's really he's a really tough opponent. Like, like we said, he's got his, his guard by just trying to get through it, innit? Not not full, not really full in many countries. Well, maybe it's not full in many countries, but yeah. yeah. I think Niall's um, stepping on the gas a little bit now. That's it. And as you said, the, just, as you said, it's a kiss of the commentator. The opponent's not throwing punches. And all of a sudden, he opens up a little bit, which he has done now. Which again, which will, which will test Niall's resolve, won't it? like he's um, pressing forward now and trying to pile the pressure on a bit more. And we got caught in one there. Uh, that's good another round. Good, good round for Niall, that. Good round. Yeah, good round, good ceiling, like he's switching off, got south, but that's what he was good at that now. Good fight, it's a good fight. Well, like I said, I mean, I mean what, what do you last thing about the venue? Yeah, it's a super yeah, venue. It's a good venue, it? really good. Super venue. Like I said, people coming out, and especially when tonight we've said before, there's a lot of boxing tonight. You know, obviously, it's, it's Birmingham, it's London, obviously, and Fury and Wilder tonight, you know what I mean? So for yeah. people to come out and actually see us, it, it's a great, it's a great thing for the, for the young boxers. At these kind of shows, this is where you see like the fans like coming out. Travelling down here to, see, to watch your fights, but yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. People just travel, you know what I mean, to the border boxes. That, that's that's a big thing for them. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Last round. Started the round nice and positive behind his jab. Pressing forward. Like you said, he was switching there as well. Yeah, he just needs to stay nice and long now, in and out of it. Stay long. 
Yeah, you don't need to change anything really, just keep it long and drop down to the body every now and then. Brilliant. Can you guys come and help me do this every week? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> How much do you pay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Pat Barrett. <laughs> Yeah, he's letting his hands go a bit now. Crowd are getting a bit excited now to see it. Oh, lovely uppercut there, right you through. Get like a screw shot. Good, back him up against the ropes. He's trying to bring his guard down there slightly with a few body shots. Yeah, he's quite quite an awkward tough opponent for yeah. this on his second fight. You know, he's come to fight and he really absolutely absolutely. And uh, he's quite tough as well. Catching them shots, lovely there, Niall is. Oh, he's testing him, oh, he's, he's been caught there, he's been caught. Been caught there, he needs to get back him. on his guard, he's been caught. He just needs to stick to his boxing now and not do anything stupid. Yeah. Pavel caught now with a good shot there, locks him back on his heels. He senses it, he senses it. He's quite a game uh, oh. opponent. He was a game opponent. Very I mean, game. who knows, maybe if he would have opened up a little bit early in the second or third round. Yeah, 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 it would have been a really tough fight. Yeah, I think this is a really good fight for Niall. Okay, learn a lot from this. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely learn a lot. Yeah, because he was so comfortable, wasn't he? In, you know, in the first three rounds, really. Yeah. Like we said, and you know, he was boxing well behind his jab, and and then obviously in this last round, obviously listening to you, came out with a few body shots, but yeah. then got caught with a good right that sent him back a little bit and put him under a little bit of pressure. Yeah, definitely. It was a good performance from him, though. And then, like I say, I think he'll learn a lot from this. He's not. He's had someone who's threw back at him as well you know but quite a game opponent he's not just had someone who's gone in there and just tucked up there yeah so this will do him a load of good this yeah what do you think pat will be saying to him now yeah well telling him he done box good obviously right like then like he's a tough opponent like and i was a bit on the back foot then i mean he, put, he just needed to come a bit more on the front foot then he Anyone who struggled with it. And you guys know more than anybody, you know what I mean? You learn from every fan. You learn from every fan. That was a very good bite. Yeah, there he the is, 2-0. 2-0, fantastic. Great performance now.